honey bunches of oats. How are you tonight? I am fantastic as always. I'm going a little stir crazy right now because I'm finishing up the last of the paintings from the auction. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me during that. And I have not been allowed to art for the last week really and it is driving me crazy i need all the room i can get for the paintings but now that i'm getting towards the end i have a little breathing space so <laughs> i'm going to do a video with you guys so i'm going to do a i'm gonna call it a reverse dutch pour now when you do a dutch pour what you're doing is you're putting white on a canvas, white paint that is mixed with whatever you mix it with, which I will talk about that in a minute. And you put a little pile of some colors in one area, and then you surround that pile with white and you blow the white over the colors. You blow the white back over the colors in the opposite direction, therefore blowing the paint and the white all over onto the canvas, creating a pretty image. What I want to do is I want to take my colors and put them on the canvas and then take some white and blow it over the colors. Now, what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to put silicone in my colors. Now, I found this new silicone at Blix. And I want to give it a try. Why not? My colors themselves are... Carmen... Quinacridone Crimson. I was reading the wrong one. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, I have one brain cell left. <laughs> oh, I was about to start speaking French. <laughs> oh, here we go with another one. Pyroli Red. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the right way to say it. Who comes up with these names? My Lord. Turquoise Green. Krumbacher. <laughs> My very favorite blue, Prussian blue by Grumbacher. Grumbacher. And then I'm going to be to using two of the Arteza pearls, royal purple and bronze. All right. Now my colors, what are they mixed with? My colors are mixed with very expensive items tonight. So here's the deal about mixing your colors. You can get a beautiful painting using glue and water, or you can get a beautiful painting using what I'm using. There are all types of things. You can use Floetrol. You can use Golden has a color pouring medium gloss. You can use uh, varnishes, uh, gloss medium slash varnish products such as this Galleria, which I'm using tonight. There's all different ways. When you watch an artist on YouTube, you should use that as kind of, for example, and not literal. And this is why I say this, because just because I use something doesn't mean that something is going to work for you. It doesn't mean that you can afford to do it that way. We are here to show you how we do it. It is not the rule of law and you don't have to do it this way. We just give you different options to try out. Now, as for measurements, that is also another problem because people are always asking how much of this do you put into that? And it depends on a lot of things. It depends on your colors, okay? A metallic color is going to be a lot heavier than this color here. You need to add 
more water to thin this out than you would to this. So that's why it's very hard for us to tell you exactly how to, to you know, we can say one part of Floetrol to one part paint. You have to experiment. What you want in the end for a typical pour is you want the paint, no matter what you added into it, you want the, the consistency is the important thing here and not adding too much water because if you add too much water, the paint will break down and it's, it's just not good for your paint. So <clears throat> what you want is a nice fluid consistency that flows off of the stick and creates a little tiny mound on the surface of the paint but automatically disappears that's what you want for a typical flip cup you can go a little bit thicker you could go a little bit more fluid for the dutch pour you want them to be pretty fluid because you're making them move whereas with a flip cup you're tilting the canvas so you're helping the paints move there's so many different concoctions you can come up with. You just really need to play around. Now, they say that practice makes perfect. And I'm here to tell you that is so true. Here's my white, which is golden fluid titanium white. And you see how fluid it is because I'm doing this Dutch style pour. I want the paints to really move around. Okay, so that's what I'm using right here, the titanium white. So <clears throat> I'm going to at some point do a full series for beginners. As soon as I get this whole art auction process completed, I'm gonna sit down and I'm really going to go into things such as where to buy your things cheap, like the Dollar Tree. What things can you get at the Dollar Tree? Look at what I'm using as a stand from Taco Bell, okay? That's my stand for tonight. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, I'm gonna get into all of that. Like I said, I'm gonna do a series and hopefully that'll help a lot of people because that is what I'm here for, to help. So. Let me get started here. So the colors I already showed you and I have them here in the cup. And what I'm going to do off to the side is I'm going to add two drops of silicone to each, no, I lied, three drops of silicone to each color. And then I'm not going to add any silicone to the white or the metallic colors. So. Let's see how this stuff works. So three drops in that one. This is the Crimson, whose name I cannot pronounce. My light bulb above keeps clicking and I swear I'm waiting for it to just shatter on me. That was the Pyroli. Now somebody will help me out with that name if I'm saying it wrong. And they'll say it some fancy way. It sounds nothing like Pyroli. <laughs> Pyriol. <laughs> All right. So the rule usually is if you want bigger cells, a couple of swirls, that's it. If you want smaller cells, really, really, really beat it in good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a puddle pour and tilt it all over the canvas. We'll do a 
Bet you didn't know I was an artist. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's been so hot in Connecticut. Oh, sweet baby Jesus in the manger. Let me tell you, I think that my sweat glands no longer work. It has been that bad. And the thing with Connecticut is, is it's so humid that... It, uh, if it's 90 degrees, it feels like it's 150 degrees and you can't breathe. You literally can't breathe. My grass looks like scorched earth. It looks like somebody dropped a nuclear bomb on it. It's just really, really bad. And I'm realizing now that that purple and red are ugly together, but we'll see what happens. Let's not be judgmental already. So I'm kind of just looping it around. We're going to have to cover the whole canvas with these colors. I just cannot wait to get my room back. I'm standing in a tiny little corner here with my tripod right in front of me. I'm trying not to hit it, but I just, I really am not happy unless I'm in here doing something. Now, this is my antidepressant and I feel like crap when I can't do it, so. All right, that was bronze, by the way, which yeah, I guess it looks bronze. I'm really curious about this silicone. Oh, and I got my painting from Christina Welsh that I won in her auction. And I can't wait to show you guys that. So pretty. All right, last color. Well, if this doesn't look like roadkill, I don't know what does. Oh, Jesus. Oh. You know, somebody's sitting at home agreeing with me. Yep. <laughs> All right. There's our colors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt them around. This is a 10 by 10 canvas, by the way. Just gonna tilt them a little bit to cover the canvas. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna move this first because I don't want paint to go on that. And then when I sit my canvas on top of it, it'll be sticking. So. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not seeing anything great out of this silicone yet. All right. So now it'll still stick, but it'll be stuck to the tape. All righty. Just touching up the sides. Now we're going to do some pouring, or not pouring, 
blow dryer stuff. Just checking it back. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white. Now there is no silicone in this. You know what? I'm going to dump a little bit of this out into another cup. I just want to make sure that it's mixed properly. It was right up to the top, so I was kind of mixing slow. I just want to make sure that it's mixed good. Bear with me one second, please. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour some white right in the center. Just like this. And now I'm going to take the blow dryer and I'm going to blow that white over the colors. happens here. Now I've done this once before and it came out beautiful, but I was using a different silicone. I could actually show you, I have it right here. Do you see that lacing? So now we'll have to see what happens here. See if I have to add a little more color in that center. Let me torch it. Oh, we got lots of cells over here showing up. Just getting my sides. I am starting to really like this technique. I think that we'll let it sit for a few minutes. And boy, I got a lot of cells on the outer here. I would love for this white to change a little bit in the center here. I'm just afraid to mess with it because I don't want to mess up any of this outer because it is just gorgeous. Now I could stretch, but it's already changing. So let me let it dry overnight and then I'll come back and show you the end result. Well guys, here she is. I'm not going to be waiting till the morning that it's going to dry just as you see it. Um, what I did was I blew that white a little bit more with the gun because I didn't want the that big patch of white in the center. So I just blew it a little bit more out with the blow dryer. And this is what we got. Those cells are very, very pretty. 
inside. And this is going to look gorgeous with resin on it. These colors just really, really pop when you put resin on them. In my opinion. There are the sides. There you have it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like. If you aren't already, would you please subscribe? Click the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. All the links that you need are below, including the link for the new resin that I used in the video before this. KS Resin. They offer free shipping in the United States, and their version of an art-type epoxy is $70 a gallon. I used it. I loved it. This is my personal opinion, and I believe that I will be buying that from now on because economically, that's great for me with the channel and all. And with the free shipping in the U.S., you just can't beat that. So check out that video before this one. And uh, I have a coupon code there for you guys if you decide to purchase it. And any of the other products that I have links for are listed below. So I hope you all have a great night and happy pouring.